Hello and welcome to the news button. In today's edition, we shall attempt a small critique of the SRK starer, Pathan. Despite the great buzz surrounding Pathan and the fact that it became a box office hit in India and abroad, an honest critic of the movie won't give very high ratings to it. Pathan is arguably the worst and most overrated Bollywood film of 2023. So save your money on this garbage film and watch something better. SRK fans must be all daggers drawn listening to this unfriendly remarks. But we will tell you why Pathan is a bad movie despite all the bodges surrounding it. After listening to it, the filmy kida inside you will start seeing reason and would start hesitating to be blown away by popular sentiments, popular market bodges, because as they say, nothing is more reasonable and logical than a rational argument and clearer than clear reason. Even the most incorrigible idiot can't refuse it. Let's go one by one. No film can be great without originality. And Pathan is sadly far away from it. The film is a great patchy work of imitation of many considerably well adjusted and loved scenes from some past Hollywood blockbusters. Start counting as I walk you through them. Jim bringing ex-spies from all over the world to form his own spy team is taken from Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. Remember, all villains were ex-spies from different countries. Then friend turned enemy is like Raul De Silva from Skyfall. Both were loyal but betrayed by their boss. Jim's pregnant wife and kid was shot. De Silva lost his face. The artificial wing fly seen in the movie is obviously Falcon from Avengers. The interval twist where Mosina betrays Pathan is irrefutably copied from Tom Hanks' terror Inferno. So obviously, those who don't watch Hollywood movies will like this film. Similarly, if you look at the climax of Pathan, the climax of Pathan is a very clever imitation of the climax of Mission Impossible Fallout. Just look closely and the movie buff inside you will find out there is scene to scene copy. Just like Winter Soldier bombing a car, standing on middle of road wearing a mask, Jim from Pathan is shooting at scientists. I would prefer not to comment on logic as these movies are not documentary films. It's common knowledge that most Bollywood films falters when trying to create any original action sense. If you are an avid Hollywood action or adventure films fan, then you will find nothing new here. When watching Pathan Saxon scene, you will feel as if you have already watched this scene. Those who watched or wish to watch Pathan due to the public rage and positive reviews must give it a clear rethink, a clear second thought. Again, Shahrukh Khan using a decoy to fool the Pika is taken from last scene of Angelina Jolie starer wanted and Dimple Kepadia sacrificing herself after getting infected is like James Bond sacrificing himself after getting infected in the last scene of No Time to Die. If you are an SRK fan then you might enjoy it but the open-ended filmy kida inside you will definitely revel and find faults and issues with the film. So it won't be a biased view. 
when the theater was packed it was worth the first show cheering laughing slow motion scenes and all the movie is a testament to siddharth anand following his inimitable direction style a bit mashy and clashy that is high on action and high pitched dialogues in clear terms pathan is a kids movie of the early 2000s kids would have loved it the story is a typical story of a former indian patriot now going up to india motivated by hatred because the indian government drops him like a hot potato and because of the killing of his wife by the bad guys srk the hero tries to stop him by targeting his financial delivery system so folks it is the usual actions fights choppers and banks notwithstanding its flaws the film manages to rake in a good 109 crore rupees worldwide and 57 crore rupees in india alone on its first day of release the very first day of release breaking every opening record possible that too on a working day it's clearly the high octane action drama that sells and pathan made the most of it the only saving grace in the movie would be dimple kapadia it's a pretty refreshing role for her and she carried it off without hamming srk hasn't done high octane drama and it shoots him pretty well in this film dipika padukone simply tries to look sexy as a consistently and often irritatingly double crossing agent typically the 2008 movie rash mode where she is pro pathan anti pathan pro pathan again anti pathan until you just wish for srk to blow her head off thank god there is only one song in the movie but then as i had earlier said pathan is a movie that the audience of 2000s would love to lap up going by sheer merit kantara as a movie was easily a far better experience than pathan but it's grossly underrated now you would be able to know why thank you leave your comments in the comment section as to what you felt about the film critic and tell us why pathan would be a good movie or why it would not be a good movie we'd love to know your thoughts on this so leave your comments in the comment section and thanks again for your time